welcome back to Nazareth's channel. I have a wonderful video for you. It's going to be short, the point, and it's a DIY project. As you see, it's behind me. Today we're going to be installing uh, sequential turn signals uh, lights. They are LED lights. They're going to go on a, into the turn signals into the mirrors. There you go. And as you see here, these are the original ones. Original. This is XLE model, so this order of four is this turn signal built in. And we're gonna install this LED turn signals, the sequential. It means they're gonna blink flash like from here, this corner to this corner, like in a like in a linear form. It's gonna look very nice and it's gonna be bright. Also, this product was shipped from cartrimhome.com and they have a lot of cool products for your uh, RAW4 if you want to do upgrades and uh, this is one of them I'm gonna also put like description into the links into everything into the description below and you'll be able to click on them and uh, order the product I just want to show you how during the daylight these turn signals are not very bright you see it's flashing only it seems like in this corner but it doesn't reflect that much so at night it's okay you can see the turn signals, but during the day, they're not really visible. This product arrived in a nicely packaged. And uh, it's like padding here. Also came with a little trim, uh, plastic trim removal tool. Screwdriver for this job. And of course, the LED turn signals, nicely wrapped. Also, there's a label, see, letter R just for the right side, and L that goes on the left side. Uh, these look and feel just like the original ones, it has a foam padding on the side here. Uh, plastic, feels very good, it doesn't feel flimsy or anything, nicely molded. Looks like a copy from the OEM. Alright guys, get this tool, trim removal tool and go from this side right here some people show you to go from the inside but this is better to go on the, this side because they're like big stronger clips and don't go too far take this part right here put it right here here go on the other side make sure show them this the other angle see right here kind of pride and you're gonna feel this click feels like you broke something but you did not break anything as long as you don't yank it so far, just slowly push it on this edge and kind of pry it open. All right, keep reporting. Now what we're gonna do on this side, there are small clips here. Now you don't wanna just pull this mirror cover out. You gotta be careful. So you gotta go slowly. Okay, and now here on this side, kind of pull it on the inside. So, as you see these clips right here, they're very small and delicate. And this, these are bigger, fatter ones here and here. So pretty much what you do, once you get this corner out, slowly go around the edges, pull it up, but don't yank it yet. Carefully kind of like turn it this way. And these teeth right there, right there, just kind of to twist this uh, plastic cover like this and then the, the, the cover will come out so be careful with this corner right here be careful because as you see here these little tabs are very small and you don't want to break these little tabs and um, next step for our next step we need to remove these screws one here one here and uh, Let's see, I think this is it. One, two, two screws right here. So let's get to it. This one. I already took this screw out from here. This one is also loose. It just kind of stuck in there. But um, there's a little tab right here. You see? Tab right there. You have to actually kind of push it out, out of the way. 
and don't pull it yet now there's this plastic tab here that kind of sits in there make sure you just check everything is loose all right so once you remove these screws here also there's this tab right here you push it out of there now this whole unit just comes out right now all we got to do just disconnect the little connector right here this little push on just kind of push it on it and that's it this whole piece is removed and we're just gonna take this uh, LED uh, this uh, turn signal light out and replace it with a new one all right so you see this little tab right here kind of push on it to the side same thing here right here there's this one just kind of push it together and then you can pull this light out it's very easy to do and this whole light comes out now in comparison it feels and looks exactly the same like the aftermarket one except this one has a nice uh, chrome and it says here this one says made in Japan and uh, this one just says ABS I mean it's it's gonna be much nicer guys I wanted these for a while now I got it I'm gonna share it with you now let's install it back same way align everything one little difference I want to show you between the aftermarket and then the sequential LED that's aftermarket uh, oh, this is the thing uh, original one has uh, no wire hanging out of here there's just a connector here and the aftermarket has these wires already connected and uh, um, little connectors on the outside so that's the only difference okay so make sure this hole right here aligns with this uh, clip see right there and this slides into here like that all right okay again this aligns with this hole uh, there's also another hole right here make sure this plastic uh, uh, aligns with it just push it in and you don't need much force for it that's it just push it back in place and there you go let's go back and uh, install it on a, on a vehicle so this connector the way it plugs in it's very easy self-explanatory slides you see this little tiny tab right here and then there's a tab on the top here you just connect it and you hear a click and that's it uh, before we put this back together I want to turn on my hazard lights and I'll show you how it works and see if it actually works all right guys so it's very bright outside very sunny but you can see this turn signal how wonderful how beautiful and what I mean sequential you see how it's just running along nice very nice so this side works and let's install everything back together the secret is when you install this do not push anything too hard everything's supposed to align and all you just got to clip in place and that's it align all the clips all the corners all the holes and just you see how this one aligned here perfect and everything is back in place all we're gonna do just put two screws here and that's it and also some people saying oh you don't have to remove this just remove the screws and wiggle it out and that's it well I wanted to do it the proper way and show you how it's done this cable just kind of tuck it in tuck it in like this and you'll be fine let's install the cover okay take these two screws screw them back in don't use a lot of force this doesn't have to be super over tightened that's it number two that's it and uh, one more thing I wanna again I can't stress it enough this corner right here is a little plastic tab use this plastic trim removal and kind of push it on the inside and then you can take this whole plastic piece out this is very important you don't want to break it 
All right, this is good. I'm going to take the uh, plastic cover and snap it back in place. Okay, guys, also remember these are much thinner tabs here, little connectors. So let's start with this corner right here. Kind of insert it like this. Make sure everything is aligned here. Once you align this corner right here, make sure all this plastic kind of aligns here too. And all you do is kind of snap it back into place and it goes easy. You don't have to use enough, a lot of force. It goes very nice and easy. See? And we're done with this driver side installation and it looks amazing guys. White mirror, black trim, it looks nice. I mean, if you do prefer the uh, chrome, then you might leave the original one in place, but I really like it. My true opinion, double check the edges here, make sure everything is into place. And it looks solid, it looks beautiful. And I'm just gonna move to the uh, passenger side. But here you go. It looks just like the original. And cartrimhome.com, they also have a tinted uh, uh, these signals, uh, like kind of smoky color. So you can order those if you want. But I like this because my car is white and it matches very nicely. And look at this. It's very sunny outside, very bright. But it looks so beautiful you can see the third signal this is our passenger side oh you can see there's a little blinky light here that's all so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna do the same process on this side again start from this corner wiggle this part out with a plastic trim removal pull it out a little bit and then go to this side so with my trim removal, I carefully pop this plastic cover out and slowly put your fingers here. Just remove this plastic thing. I remove this. Now if you do have a difficulty and if you cannot unclip these, then use your uh, trim removal and kind of push this plastic out and uh, you'll be able to remove this plastic cover same goes for this side one bolt here one one screw here one screw here now some people do it they like to wiggle this thing out just remove the screws pull this plastic thing out but on the driver side we actually remove all of this and we did the proper way all right this pin is removed this one is removed Now I'm gonna take my light and get it out of there. It's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but you could do it. Get it out. And as you see on the original one, this connector is connected directly to the light. In the aftermarket, there's a little extension cable, which is not a big deal. Push it on this tab and get the light out. Our light is out. Alright, take a new light, connect it here to this connector right here and uh, test it out before installing it, see if it works. Now, if it doesn't flash, take this connector and flip it the other way. And as you see, now it's working. Looks nice. And let's put this back into place. Just gonna go on this side. Now when you install this part, go on the bottom and check that this part aligns here all along nicely. There's a little, uh, and where the screw goes in, make sure this hole aligns here. 
make sure this part aligns here and this tab make sure it clicks back into place and don't break it and now we're good we gotta put two screws back in place and the cover screws are back into place everything solid also tuck away this cable right here kind of out of the way this is fine like this double check your work before you put the cover back this is all beautifully aligned there are no gaps this clip is in place and it looks good nothing trembling and let's set the cup take the cover and also start with this cover like I did on the other end see this uh, tabs right here tiny tabs they're very delicate so first start with them all right so it's gonna be kind of scary for you when you never remove any plastic trims but don't worry as long as you align this side right here make sure it's all aligned here and you just push it together don't just use a lot of force just kind of slowly like push it push it push it and you're gonna hear it clip 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 as long as it's all nicely aligned nothing is crooked and the cover is on the mirror looks wonderful there are no gaps nothing is moving solid it's a big improvement much nicer look very neat look All right, guys and girls, the installation is done on both sides. Even at a super bright sun, sunny day, you can still see the um, my mirror LEDs. It looks very clean and smooth. I love it. And it looks just like original. There are no gaps over here. There are everything nice and tight. No gaps at all. This is our original one. All it is, just like a little uh, chrome. This one doesn't have a chrome. But it, I, I'm definitely keeping these. Thank you, cartrimhome.com. Links will be in the description below. And uh, I apologize if in my installation video you didn't see something clearly. But this is kind of self explanatory. As long as you remove this carefully, as long as you remove this carefully. Don't just yank it and that's it. You'll be fine. Trust me. Look at that. And we have a direct sunlight. Still, it's very visible. Beautiful. And this is my RAV4. If you want to see some more of my videos, you can click on my channel, link, link, subscribe, like, do whatever you guys want to do. But I really appreciate any positive comments. And uh, you can question, uh, send me questions and I will be glad to answer them.